Hello learners, in this unit marketing of local food, you will really enjoy learning about linkages of food with culture. As a student of tourism, you will understand Indian food practices. Another objective is to analyze the reasons for popularity of local food among tourists and you will also gain insight about the different types of local food available in India. So learners, we know that food is a basic daily need of human life. In the physiological sense, food is the basic requirement for human survival. Food not only play a greater role in maintaining life, but in the context of tourism, it is an important functional component of an overall trip. Experiencing local food may be symbolic and ritualistic in nature. And in most of the travel experiences, food is an essential part of the itinerary, which provides tourists with memorable and enjoyable times. Many tourists also seek something different from their everyday life when they are traveling and this may include the taste of exotic food. Gastronomy like fashion and design industry is an expression of art and through culinary products and dining experiences. The tourist identifies, enhances the overall experience of a trip. Now let us study food as cultural expression. Food has been identified as a cultural attraction for many tourists. Culture has many facets and food is one of its key components. Food serves as a mechanism for cultural exchange, allowing tourists to become more involved in local customs and they get a better understanding of a specific culture. Moreover, food in India is involved with various unique customs of a region. Therefore, buying and consuming domestic food products means sharing the local culture also. In this uh, perspective, traveling for food related activities is a subset of cultural tourism as cuisine is a manifestation of culture. This combines communities together and the tourists participate in festivals, rituals and other aspects of cultural activities. So now let me elaborate on the concept of food culture. Food culture refers to practices, attitudes and beliefs as well as the network of institutions surrounding the production, distribution and consumption of food. Food culture is the connection with the locals, the belief and the experience with the food and our food system. It incorporates our cultural heritage, our ethnicity and our past traditions. Food culture is also about our environment, our surroundings, the impact of local food and the way we take care of the local environment. Now, across the globe, we come across different types of food cultures which are distinctive and globally famous. They are popular among all types of tourists and basically focused on regional environment. They influence the choice of the tourist for a destination. The food culture across the world are influenced by many factors but the most important factor which makes it different is to utilize the specific ingredients and spices of a region to evoke unique flavors and that is an important component of food culture. Food cultures uh, may vary region regionally and may depend on the landscape, weather and history of each region as we know that the seasons and environment is different. Regardless of the ingredients, flavors or traditions that exist between the different food cultures, we have a connecting thread woven throughout all of them 
and that connective thread is community participation and the pleasure derived from eating local food. We experience the local food, we take into consideration the community practices as well as the pleasure and the enjoyment of dining together. We enjoy our food which is based and is related with local customs, festivals and rituals. Food culture is a way to celebrate our religious holidays, our community events and our family gatherings. So friends, we have understood that food is respected as an essential part of life and across the globe we break it down into food cultures which focus on the key components. The key components are first of all that all communities enjoy sharing food with their members and the family. Second, we need to conserve this food culture which is influenced by external environment. Third, food is used to celebrate religious and community events. Another important component is that we focus on local and seasonal ingredients and we use them to create unique flavors. Across the globe, we value food experiences and we come up with a lot of innovations in this area. Food is a sacred activity and we share and celebrate locations with various food related activities. So local food is essential both for our health as well as for environment. It creates a balance between us and the local environment. So as a result of it, uh, there is uh, a harmony that exists Though there is a wide variation between the Eastern and the Western style related to the food culture, but the primary focus remains the same that in the area of tourism, this is an important activity. Now after understanding the food culture, let us now focus on understanding Indian food. The cuisine of India is one of the most diverse cuisines characterized by sophisticated use of many spices vegetables, grains and fruits grown across India. The cuisine of each geographical region includes a wide assortment of dishes and cooking techniques reflecting the varied demographics of the ethnically diverse Indian population. Indian religious beliefs and culture have also played an influential role in the evolution of its cuisine. Vegetarianism is widely practiced in many Hindu, Buddhist and Jain communities. India's unique blend of cuisine is evolved through large-scale cultural interaction with the neighboring countries such as Persia, ancient Greece and parts of Western Asia. We have a new world food which is introduced by the Arabs and the Portuguese traders during 16th century and with the European settlements new form of cooking style were introduced during the colonial period which added to the diversity of Indian cuisine. Now let me discuss with you features of Indian local food. The first and the foremost aspect of Indian food practice is eating with hand. This tradition has its root in Ayurveda. Eating is supposed to be a sensory experience and eating with the hand evokes emotion and passion. According to Vedic wisdom, the hands are the most precious organs of action. So according to the Vedic text, every finger is an extension of the elements in the body. So through the thumb comes space, with the four fingers come air, the middle finger represents fire, the ring finger is water and the little finger represents earth. So eating with all your five fingers stimulate these five elements and help in bringing forth the digestive juices in the stomach. 
so with this philosophy uh, we have a widespread practice of having food with our hands feeling your food becomes a way of signaling uh, the stomach that you are about to eat you become more conscious of the taste texture and aroma uh, besides india in other parts of uh, middle east also and in africa uh, serving of food is again an important activity food on banana leaf is an important part of the dining habit especially in the parts of southern india eating food on a banana leaf is considered healthy placing a uh, hot food on these leaves emits several nutrients that enrich your food uh, so banana leaves uh, contain large amount of natural antioxidants found in many plant based foods it adds aroma to the food and enhances the taste uh, traditionally water is sprinkled on the banana leaf before its use as an act of purification This use of banana leaves dates back to time before betel became the mainstay. People found it more hygienic to use fresh leaves that were disposable instead of wooden utensils. Today, uh, many uh, Hindu temples also use banana leaves to serve prasad, as uh, it's considered to be sacred. Now the reasons for popularity of uh, local food among tourists is first of all the tourists uh, differentiate between the markets uh, both by the geographical locations and local food markets are usually related to small community and is in a close proximity to the tourist destinations so these local food markets sell products according to the needs of the local population instead of the needs of a larger population so today we uh, you know take into consideration uh, why consider eating local food is good uh, compared to a mainstream food so local food as you know uh, is produced locally which means that the food does not undergo hours and miles of traveling before reaching the market this food also caters to a specific customer base and uh, most of the food end up being sold uh, to the local area so we have a availability of fresh batches therefore this food is fresh in flavor second important thing is that this food is mostly seasonal in nature you will find them in local stores and you will probably get them only in the particular season which also adds more value to the food this food is available only when the crop harvesting time is over whereas if you look at the other stores in the supermarkets you will find that off season fruits are available due to cold storage so we find it seasonal in nature third if we buy food items from the local stores it helps in the growth of small time shopkeepers and local farmers we don't have any many middlemen and we spend money um, on these uh, people which help in supporting the local sustainability and the local chain and we help to work with our community in a better way so these are some of the advantages and also buying local food help the local farm land and pastures to survive we promote greenery and open space we benefit the environment and we save on the shipping and transportation cost this increases uh, greenhouse effects and also the conservation now let me uh, discuss some specific st- case studies related to local food first of all one specific case study is one plate for all the bohari muslim community follow a tradition of eating from one huge platter called the thail the meal begins by sitting around the platter and passing the salt after every family member has tasted at the first course is served the entire family eats out from the same platter which should never be left at attended after the meal has been placed 
So every dish sits in the center of the thal and the members pull out their share. There should not be any leftover at the end of the meal and therefore there is a right portion for every member. Then we have the Vazvan tradition. It's a royal feast. It's a ceremony. Uh, Vazvan is a foodie pilgrimage to discover the royal cuisine and culture of Kashmir. It is believed to have been originated during the 15th century uh, when Taimur invaded and brought many craftsmen, weavers, architects and cooks into the Kashmir Valley. The descendants of these cooks had been crying forward the legacy and in Kashmiri language Vaz means highly skilled cook and Van refers to a shop. Traditionally, it consists of 36 courses, which are basically evolved over a period of time through the various traditions. The meal begins with the ritual of washing hands, then the attendants carry Taksh Nehri, a type of vessel, around for the convenience of the people around. The meal is served in four groups. Uh, we have kebabs, spice curries and we have other dishes which are cooked and served as a part of the entire feast. It's a complex food item. The variety of the food is excellent and the meal ends uh, with a sweet note with firni along with kahava, a green tea flavoured with spices and silvered almonds. Another important community-based food activity is Jalpan, a tradition followed across Bengal and Assam. Jalpan is a quick snack that is often eaten before breakfast. In some cultures, it's a mix of different varieties of regional rice cooked traditionally and served them with curd jaggery. Uh, so, in this, uh, rice is cooked in different forms and it is offered to guests at weddings and at times on special locations. It's a local food which helps the body to fight against the disease. Use of curd is prominent which works as a cooling property. So, in Jalpan we have various variations across the country. Now, let me now take you to regional variations in Indian food. We know that large number of Indians are vegetarian. A quick review of in North Punjabi cuisine represents uh, food of all, most of the states of the North and uh, they are very popular in terms of uh, the tourists globally. They, this kind of food Cuisine is predominantly wheat based with roti and naan. We have basmati rice, we have special pulao's, rice based dishes which include vegetal, vegetables and we have uh, kidney beans also part of it. Dairy products such as paneer, yogurt, butter and ghee are also extensively used. And on the other hand, we have the Southern India cuisine, which is primarily a rice eating region. So we have a wide variety of dal. We have soups made up from various uh, ingredients and vegetables are popular. Dal and rice are served in a number of ways. They may be pounded, grounded, fermented, boiled or steamed. Coconut is used in cooking and dairy is again a very important part in the uh, food item. So after understanding the differences uh, between the northern and the southern style, let us start and understand the local food practices. These local food practices uh, are such that uh, they are related with religious festivals, they are related with celebrations, they are related with the uh, events at home. So it's an exhaustive list and they vary according to the region and occasions. For example, in India, uh, there are maybe so many variants of biryani and is common among all the festival menu. Whereas uh, religion plays a very important role. For example, many Hindus are pure vegetarian, certain individuals 
avoid meat and fish on a specific day in a week due to religious reasons. Fasting is also very important among various religious traditions. It depends on the type of individual and the kind of philosophy that they choose that accordingly the fasting food is also prepared. Uh, people uh, fast as a part of uh, the religious activities and there is a lot of uh, variations as far as the temple food and the fast food is concerned. So across the globe also if you see you will find that each country has its own set of subcultures, own culture and cuisines and customs. Indian history and heritage indicates that Indian cuisine is in very old. It is based on the dining etiquettes built by traditions. These traditions are influenced by centuries of invasions, conquest, religious beliefs, political changes and social customs. For example, when you look at the past remains, you will find that people of Indus Valley even cooked with wild grains, herbs and plants. And the food of Mughal, we had even the fragrances of rose water, yogurt and desi ghee, use of spices was promoted by them in a big way. We have uh, the introduction of the tradition of uh, tea by the foreigners, Portuguese made red chili popular and the British helped us to understand the dining decorum. So all these traditions have evolved and transformed over their time. They vary from region to religion and based on the religious practices. Numerous rituals are performed in India and the act of offering food to deities also has given rise to many traditions. So now I will discuss with you the concept of uh, the temple food where we have the prasads which are served at temples, the langurs at the gurudwara. They help us uh, to look at our community kitchen and also to consider the sacred food of India. After understanding the dynamics of Indian food, let us now learn about the local food destinations in India. Let me take you to Kolkata. Puchka, also known as Golgapur, Pani Puri is the king of street food in the city. So we have Papri Chaat, Damalu, Puchka and Dahi Puchkas which are very popular among the travellers along with the Churmur made up of mashed potato, crushed papri is another delight for the tourist. Whenever you get a chance to visit Amritsar which is the holy city of Golden Temple, you must try the Kada Prasad which is distributed at the Langar in the temple. It's extremely popular among the tourists. Moreover, the famous Amritsari Kulcha is also liked by the tourists. The globally tourists visit uh, Harmandar Sahib and uh, we have lots and lots of variations of stuffed kulcha in the city. After Amritsar, let us move to Ahmedabad, which is an important prominent city. Gujarati cities are famous for their nashtas, for their spicy, uh, delicate khakra. Uh, we have namkeens and papar as a food item which have a long storage life and tourists prefer to buy and take them home. As far as Mumbai is concerned, Mumbai is a street food delight. Uh, we have a lot of uh, places along the beach and options for the tourist, uh, we have spicy vada pav, keema pav, chicken tikka masala, garlic naan, rabri faluda, firni. So Mumbai is visited by all set of tourists and these food items are very popular. In New Delhi from the back streets of Chandni Chowk to the lanes of Saroji Nagar, there are lots and lots of food variety that is available. Since it's a cosmopolitan city, we have food products uh, such as spicy chaat options, chola bhaturas, alu puri, variety of parathas in the city. So all these spicy flavors are popular 
among the cultural tourists who visit Delhi along with uh, Karachi halwa or specific desserts. In Uttar Pradesh, uh, Varanasi is again an important point as far as Indian cuisine is concerned. This is one of the most holiest and the ritualistic city which is uh, sacred due to its temples and ghats. Uh, the culinary journey starts early in the morning and you have lots of local food outlets which basically sell popular breakfast snacks, specifically uh, the kachori. It is deep fried with masalas and we have mashed potatoes. This uh, is very popular among foreign tourists also. Along with that, we have number of milk related items and dairy items in Varanasi. Udaipur, known as a city of lake, is also popular uh, for its Rajasthani cuisine. Tourists uh, visit not only for uh, the uh, street food, but also to enjoy the local culture, the natural beauty of Udaipur. In this place also we find an influence of food culture which is basically focused on the royal Rajasthani cuisine. This cuisine um, attracts the tourist and we have various variants like dal bati churma and specific spicy dishes which are enjoyed by the domestic as well as international tourists. Uh, traditionally, food here is uh, cooked also on charcoal fire. Uh, the dal mati churma comprises of the dal, which is a spice lentil dish. The bati is made up of whole wheat dumping, and uh, the churma is a sweet whole wheat ball that is deep fried mashed and infused with pure ghee, sugar and dry fruits. So this is again a very popular item. In down south in Andhra Pradesh, uh, Hyderabad is famous for its mutton biryani, for its uh, rice dishes which are cooked in various uh, ways, yogurt, chicken products and various dishes associated with mutton. So again, it's a big hit among all the tourists and the culinary tradition is of such that they prefer to dine at specialty restaurants and enjoy the food. In the eastern part of India, due to beautiful weather and crush uh, green landscape, this place is known as a board of a god. We have a lot of dishes associated with the state of Arunachal Pradesh, Sikkim, Assam and Nagaland which are different from the rest of the country such as momos and thupkas. And after Northeast, let us move to Bihar which is a land of Buddhist monk. It was famous for Nalanda and Vikram Shila University. We visit the state to enlighten ourselves both in terms of the spiritual and historical knowledge but we have certain specific items like Litti Chokha which is again popular with the tourists. This is again uh, focused on the wheat balls stuffed with pitti and then we have uh, mashed potatoes. This uh, dish is popular throughout the year and is very prominent as far as festival is concerned. From Bihar, uh, let us now go to Goa, which is the beach capital of India due to its beauty and wine. It's a blessed place for wine, dining and we have varieties of Goan cuisine. A lot of seafood is available, uh, which is cooked in conventional Goan ingredients. We have red chilli, coconut milk, palm vinegar, cashew nut, which is widely used. So when we visit Goa, the native liquor of Goa is also very popular among the tourists. So learners, in this we have 
studied that local food is an important attraction for tourism it is a ready to food eat food which is sold by the stakeholders uh, vendors usually uh, use a portable booth a food cart or a truck to sell the food items these uh, food is locally uh, prepared reasonably priced and easily available selling of local food offers good business opportunities for developing entrepreneurship the sale of local food make a sizable contribution to the economics of the local area this local food reflects the traditional local culture and has so many variants there is much diversity because of the raw material which is available locally and the local traditions the vendor stalls are generally located near a tourist attraction and the marketing su success depends on the word of mouth promotion cleanliness and the service standards local food businesses are usually owned and operated by individual families and they are basically related for traditions and generations in that same area as a tourist it is important for us to value the local food and to promote the people involved in selling such food items thank you